Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Factorio campaign in patch point zero... Sorry, zero point one two. So, uh, what's up? What's new? Well, it's a new day. I, I've adjusted the music a little bit because I agree the first episode was a little bit too loud. But, um, I was super excited, as you probably noticed. Super excited about the new music. And I do really like it. So, um... Yeah, it's about probably 75-80% of what it was in the last episode. Just chopping down trees because we're going to need a bunch of telephone poles. Because we're going to call the aliens with our pollution. Bring them over to invite us for dinner. We're going to eat them. Oh, you know what we should do? We should go fight some aliens because they have new sound effects. We should try that. Uh, let's see. We've got our uh, assembling machine. I have not made any yet. We need some iron. Of course, I built this path and then I don't actually use it because reasons. Uh, is that it? Really? That's all we can make? Oh, I love that song. Just love that song. It's just so freaking good. It's like it's like the people who work at Factorio's uh, development company. They just they just get me. Like they just they just made this game the way I want it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's just so good. Oh, like this is like the perfect style of music I think for this kind of game. I hope they make a lot more. Just like it. It's so good. Alright. Well. So I could do the thing where I get like red science out of the way while we work on the main bus. We should probably do that. That that does seem fairly reasonable-ish to me. Now, of course, you can always build right on top of the path. You don't have to worry. It's not like it's a structure. So you can you can actually put the path everywhere. Which is quite nice. Uh, I don't think we're actually going to be able to run both of these, but we'll try. I've gotten into the habit lately of putting uh, electrical poles on the edges of assembling machines, which to some people may seem kind of like, Dur duh, that's a good idea, because, uh, well, the thing is that inserters can't uh, can't be used diagonally, so it just makes sense, like, the, the pole will never be in the way if it's in between them like this, which, it's a bit excessive, because the poles overlap a lot, and especially if you get the level, the, the bigger ones, the medium electric poles, they overlap a lot, but... Whatever, you know, if you, if you place them down the right way, they, they actually look quite pretty with their little squares, the square pattern. Anyway. Anyway, you heard me. Um, and that's, of course, until you do something like this, and then it just doesn't, uh, doesn't work anymore, because you've got them spaced off, and it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, okay? So military, it's military research. Pick up some more coal. One thing I gotta get used to is not having the bigger inventory mod. I really did, uh... I'm, you know, for a logistics game, I do a really bad job of keeping my inventory clean. But then again, in this patch, we have logistic trash slots, so it's okay. We'll just use the logistic trash slots, and it will be fantastic. So we get rid of that uh, little stone deposit there. Let's go get this one, too. Let's go clean it out. I'm going to tidy up our area. Let's see, it was somewhere around here. Let's see, yeah, it's right there. We found it! We got our stone sensor. Our map. It's really good at finding stone. From outer space. We can just see it. I put some radars out, right? I think I did. Pretty sure I didn't do any exploring, so I'm fairly certain that, uh... The reason why we can see far down south is because of that. So we'll do that, and we'll put you there. And we're actually going to use an output chest on this one, because I'm going to probably ignore this one for quite a while. that that's running. Yes, it is. You know what we also need is some lights, because again, this game is super dark without light. And it, we're playing on vanilla, so we, uh, we do have quite a bit of day-night cycling happening. They're just, they're very quick, back and forth, back and forth, day-night, day-night, compared to the 3x duration that I had gotten used to. Okay, well, I think it's probably about that time that we start working on a, uh, a main bus of sorts. So we've got to decide where we want to put it. We've got to decide... Well, first off, let's fill these all up so we can go mess with other stuff for a while. Notice how my 50 stack in my hand right here is still at 50? And watch this. It stays at 50. What would happen occasionally is, like, let's say that you, um... I don't know, say you put 49 in this one. Get the lights next. You put 49 in this one, then you only have one left in your hand, and then you go to click here. So you'd have to basically click everything twice, because sometimes you'd only put a tiny little bit. Now, as long as you have extras in your hand, in your inventory, 
it just stays at 50, so it's just one click on everything. That might not seem very significant, but it's huge to me. I mean, that's that cuts the number of clicks you have to do to guarantee efficiency in half, which is really good. It's really quite good. Uh, we need to have twice as much iron in here as copper in order to uh, keep these things running. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, and this thing takes two iron, so we'll let that thing do its job. And uh, let's see. Well, we've, we've had a chance for a little bit of stuff to be found. There's some bad guys out there. But they're going to have to go the long way around. They will probably go the long way around, because the lack of trees means that our pollution will cross the river. Or the water, whatever you want to call this. Apparently a number of the mods that I was using did get updated already. An empty space right here. I do not want to make a vertical uh, assembly thing. Just, I just don't, I just don't want to do that. I was trying to do that in part of my Bob's mod thing, and it was just really messing with my head. I'm just not good at doing vertical... I, they have to be, I don't know why, I've just done it so many times this one way. It has to be a horizontal assembly. I just, <laughs> it has to be horizontal. Ugh. I mean, this is all running completely self-sufficient. This guy is running at maximum speed. So we don't really need two, but yeah, it's, it's just time to go over here and... Do this whole thing. So we're gonna need a bunch of these. We're gonna need at least four of those to start. We're gonna start working on uh, probably turrets, turrets and walls, the basics, you know. There's a little bit of stone there. Tell you what, this will be where the actual bus goes, and then we'll do some. I think we could fit eight furnaces here quite easily without interfering with that stone deposit. Let's go like right here. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I believe it goes about that far away, so we have room for two in between. Perfect. Perfection. Celebrate. Get down tonight. You've seen this all before, or maybe you haven't, if this is the very first Factorio campaign you've watched me play, because this game just came out on Steam or something, and you found it on YouTube, then uh, this will be all brand new to you. That's why we're, that's why we're starting over. One of the many reasons why we're starting over. So, we will connect our power just across. Try to use nice straight lines so the factory stays pretty for as long as possible before it starts to look hideous. Because it will. You know that it will. Ah, shoot! It's too big. Uh, we need to make it small. Did it not remember? I think it forgot that I had it on a smaller setting. I'm not sure. I just loaded the game. I would have assumed that it would remember, so... I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go alternating fashion. We'll get just four of these things set up for now. Four on each side, that is. Because I don't have enough of the, the elongated inserters to get them all going. Now, for a long, long time when playing Factorio, I, I used to, to do, like, these assembly, like, furnaces area, furnace areas where I would have the fuel on a belt and... I've just found that it's just not necessary, and it just it kind of forces you to rebuild the whole factory. Like, this thing will run forever. We can upgrade to steel furnaces, and, uh... It's just, it's really not necessary. Because you can, if you throw 50 fuel into a furnace, it will run for so long. Here, let's take half of this back so we can just get all of these things armed. And we'll end up collecting more in a little bit. So we need one, two, three, four. Sounds good, we can do that. Start about there. Let me go get some more copper. I'm doing a lot of diagonal running. My, my straight line paths are not really helping out too much, are they? Oh, there's some more coal. And I suppose rather than having like one big central area, I could just make a small furnace area down here and send the finished product up. That would work too. Let's start with this. We'll get our iron out there. Ah, no, I'm just gonna... I don't know. Do you want to leave room to upgrade this thing and just do it here? I think so. Well, no, this is, this is not really an upgrade-friendly layout, so let's just not worry about it. When it comes time to upgrade past steel furnaces, we will be building in an entirely different way. 
Stone walls, cool. Let's get some armor. The only drawback to this layout with regular poles is that we got to double up right here. I do feel like the uh, the early game of Factorio, I've gotten I've done it so many times, I'm getting pretty decent at it. Um, that just means that I need to stop doing it so much. I need to stop starting over. Right? But no, we're going to just keep starting over. It's one of the things that you do. I do that symmetrically. I did not. Oh, that just can't be. Well, I mean, it, it'll work. It's just, it's not... Oh, it's fine. People are going to be upset, though. And justifiably, I think. Where's my music? Game? Okay, um... We need a lot more transport belt. That's not really a good spot for it, is it? We'll go for the steel processing so we can do our fancy pants armor. I usually like to skip the iron armor. Because you can get 50 steel really early. It's very inexpensive. Let's get this belt filled up a little bit while we wait for these transport belts to get made. Yeah, it's very dark. We need light. Now here's one of my favorite parts to this patch, is that you don't lose throughput anymore on transport belt, the regular transport belt. So this belt, like, okay, watch. These two are going to become further spaced apart than these two. Ready? See how they kind of merge together? That's because the outside part does still have farther to go than the inside part. And that's fine. If you actually look at it, notice how they come out perfectly lined up. They turn left, and so they end up with spacing issue. But then because they turn right again, they line right back up again. So no compression gets lost at all on corners. The only thing that gets lost is distance, which makes perfect sense. This is further, farther rather, for it to go than the inside corner. So it makes sense that the inside's catching up, like getting, getting a lead on this one. So you don't have to go through and do the stupid thing where you put fast belts on all the corners anymore to optimize your factory. Now you use fast belts when you want more throughput. And you just want to make the belt move more stuff. Instead of... I, don't, I mean, there's a lot of people actually who are complaining about it, saying like, oh, it takes away from the game. No, it re really doesn't. It just makes the game more sensical. Sensible. Sensical? Something like that. In my opinion, at least. Here, you know what you need to do is down here... We just need to we need to get this thing making stuff. So this will be the the iron half to the side to the thing. That'll be the copper half. Uh, we'll go past this stone so we don't have to worry about it for now. Eventually, I'm gonna want to mine all of it, I think. And we're just gonna make some some transport belt. Yeah, let's actually do it in the other way, the other order. We want the belt to be made before we want the gears to be made. And we'll story off to the side. You need that, you need that, in between. And then we'll do our long distance ones here. So they've got power, we just need to get the iron down there. And this whole thing's gonna wanna stop somewhere around here. So I just, I really like that change. Really is awesome. Alright, we need to get, uh, probably need to load up the science thing a little bit. I have a feeling that it's not, um, not going to be working. Also, if I don't get this copper up here soon, we're going to run out of copper as well. So yeah, if you could go ahead and give me some more transport belt, that would be great.
I gotta say, I've gotten used to not having the, uh... God, look at that beautiful quarter! Oh, it's so beautiful the way that it flows! Look at it! It's just so natural, instead of having the fast corner that, like, it leaves a little gap as it throws stuff through it. No, it just flows in this beautiful little pattern through there. Sorry, I'm geeking out about it, but it's awesome. Someone had asked in the last video if uh, putting down transport belt, or uh, paths underneath transport belt makes a difference. Well, uh, you tell me. Okay, so this is running against it. This is running with it. Actually, I should have probably not put it quite so many of these. We'll run the first half, and then we will see how fast we go on the second half. Oh, I can't put it that close because the water's there. We'll shoot. Still. Yep, you can feel it. I can see it. Ready? Whee! Like, oh, yeah. You get both bonuses. You get, you're running with the belt, and you're getting the advantages of the, the path. The only mod that I really miss is the ability to make water go away, which is apparently, it is part of, uh, it's been patched already. Or it actually just works, just works with the, the current version of the, of the game. So I could load that up again. I might. Although, I am kind of having fun just playing Vanilla Factorio again, and see, look at that, we ran out damn near perfectly. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of having fun playing Vanilla Factorio. Not to mention it's it's a new patch, so we should we should give it we should give it a chance, you know. See how how well they made it. All right, so we'll finish our steel processing. We need more coal. That's why I just set those up. We need to get these things actually loaded up to full, so that I can uh, ignore them. For long, long periods of time. I also need to get the output hooked up over here. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about having a doubled up line. Let's go see. Uh... Oh, of course I forgot to put a chest, didn't I? Well, naturally, so this thing's been being kind of lazy. Until we get our fast inserters up and running, we'll have two to one. Two to one input output to match this thing. We don't really have any kind of technology that's going to give us the ability to move stuff around quickly. So, uh, we'll actually run you. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Look at that. As I clean up the track, it's just automatically picking them up. It's such a beautiful thing. And you can do this. And you can do this. Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, isn't it amazing? Yes, just say yes. Don't, don't even try to argue. Just agree with me. We'll do logistics so we can get our, our pieces being made. And let's throw down our first couple of lights as well. Lights look different in this patch. Uh, I guess partially because they're supposed to use them with combinators and stuff, which I have absolutely zero idea how to use. So before you get upset with me for not doing it right, just understand that I have absolutely zero concept of what you're supposed to do with them. And so we're going to have to learn how to do it on our own as we play. Some people have made some really cool stuff with them already, and I just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I was, I took engineering in college, but I didn't really stick with it. I didn't do, I'm, I'm not an engineer, so I only took, like, basic coding. I don't understand what the purpose of them are. Now there's going to be a whole bunch of people who played Minecraft and, like, used redstone circuits who are like, Well, it's very simple. <laughs> uh, we'll leave this uncapped. There's really no reason to, to cap it. Now, in addition to a single... Iron run and a copper run. I do want to have a steel run. I'm actually going to put that one down here. We don't need to make it nearly as long. Probably just do uh, a half run, a half assembly chain. But before we do that, let's uh, let's take a break here and uh, we'll go from there. So we're getting there. I want to get the steel run so I can get the armor. And then we'll get the main bus built up a little better. We need to get some turrets. We can see some bad guys on the map. We're going to go kill them. But yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you soon.